Kozue goes to Miki, Shiori goes to Juri, Wakaba goes to Sionji, Mitsudo goes to Nanami, and Keiko goes to Toga. The Black Rose Duelist then extracts from this person their sword, similar to how Utena would draw the Sword of Dios from Anthe. Here's what I'm thinking. The Sword of Dios represents Anthe's connection to Dios, hence why the sword has that name, hence why Anthe has that invocation as she draws the sword and the lights happen and blah 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 blah. This is also why it's important in the last arc of the series that Utena is no longer using the Sword of Dios. Instead, Utena is using a new sword that represents Anthe's bond with Utena. And admittedly, the duels in Utena really don't make that much logical sense. I mean, Utena beats the school kendo captain with a broken stick. But I wager it's more interesting to think of the duels more as metaphors, or think of them on a thematic level, 